Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. And I'm back for a reason. Now I'm here to talk about the home teams of Louisiana. I want to talk about the Saints. I want to talk about the LSU Tigers. I want to talk about the Northwestern State Demons. And those are going to be the three teams I talk about because I know about a lot of other teams, but I'm not going to talk about them. I like what I'm seeing in preseason from the Saints. The Saints are looking good in preseason. Winston's playing great. Derek Carr has a point to prove to Oakland. He set out to let Oakland know this is why you shouldn't have gotten rid of me. Hell, I don't even think after a while, I think that Devontae Adams might want to come to New Orleans. But I'm just that's just me talking about that. But from what I'm seeing with the Saints, the Saints are playing great. Their defense is cool. Their offense is getting together. Just imagine when the other boys get back in the game. You're going to see a lot from the Saints. I'm not here to, 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 to talk down on none of the Saints fans because I'm here to tell you. I do believe that the Saints will win their division. There is no way I don't believe that the Saints will lead, win at least 10 or 11 games this season. They can, even, they can win, either go 9, 10, or 11 and still win the division. Because Baker, as good as I like Baker, Baker's my boy, he's going to have to figure out a way to get Tampa, to at least keep Tampa in the mix. The situation with the they got a, the Panthers got a, a whole new quarterback. They got to try to get his system, get the system in him, so he can follow the system, so they can get the system to compete. And the Falcons are the same way. Those are going to be some rebuilding teams. But I tell you like this here, the Saints should win that division by a landslide. There is no way the Saints don't win the division. The Saints will host a playoff game this season. If Derek Carr can get them higher, I think they have a push in the playoffs. That's my thoughts on the Saints. LSU, great season they had last season. I still believe that they could be one of the top four best teams in college football. They have what it takes to do it. The guys, every year LSU is talented from quarterback to running back to wide receiver to special teams. So I'll let that. I think that they are that good, especially in football. And I'm specifically talking about the football teams. I'm not talking about the basketball teams because I know LSU basketball team was great last year. They were able to get get close to the to the playoffs, which is the uh, the final four, of the March Madness. I still believe that they can get to the tournament this year. But that's on, another that's on another topic. We'll talk about that when basketball season starts. But as for the LSU football team, there is no way they do not get too close to the college playoffs. I think they could get there. I know they'll end up having a bowl game, but I don't think the bowl game is just the limit. I think that playing for the BCS championship is the higher position that they want to get. We know that Alabama's there. We know Clemson is there. We know TCU is there. We know that Michigan is there. Even though Michigan might be without Harbaugh for a couple of games, still in all, I still believe that they're close enough to get there. And my team is Michigan State Spartans basketball and football and we know that the big 10 sometimes have only we have the guys like you know the big teams like you know michigan and you know guys like michigan state penn state you know all those teams there but i'm here to tell you this is not the year for michigan i don't think so i think somebody can up tight uphold them and beat that you got Illinois, you got, you know, all these teams there, Penn State. You know, you got, you got teams in the Big Ten that can do some things. I want Michigan State to do it. 
I don't want to fight against Rutgers every week and can't beat them. That's I don't like that at all. We could do better than that. And last but not least, the Northwestern State Demons from the hometown of Nagas, Louisiana. Shout out to everybody down here in the net town and all over the world anyway. I think that the Demons can do something this year. I hope to God, and I like them, I hope to God that they can come up somehow. I would rather see them win at least seven games trying to get to a, to a championship or to a BCS or to a bowl or something than just being out before it starts. I don't like that for the Demons. I don't like what happened with their basketball team, and I'll talk about that at another time. They were sot last year. They were, they were good. They had the people there. But when the season was over, everybody just left. Everybody just left the Demons basketball team without even giving it a chance. And I know it could be possibly behind money, which, you know, that's how a lot of things go. That's mostly how the way things are these days. But I would have thought just for the, for the thrill and for the chase of it and for the determination, I thought that Corey Gibson, who I, I saw before and talked to, you know, and the one arm guy, I've seen him before, too. You know, but all of them left and left Northwestern, you know, but I just want I, I, I know that it could have been, you know, they had decisions to make or whatever. But I wish they would have came back and tried it again this season. And that's just the basketball point. But as far as the football point, I would like to see them guys at least win at least eight games. Am I wishful thinking about that? I don't know. But that's what I that's what my desire is. Peace out.